The letter to the Hebrews, chapter 5, has a very curious line. Speaking about Jesus, it says, Son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Hello, Father James Kubicki here. And doesn't that make it sound like there was a point in Jesus' life when he wasn't perfect? Yet, he is the Son of God, the second person of the Blessed Trinity. He can't go through a process of becoming perfect because he always was and always will be. So what does this passage mean? How are we to understand it? It helps to think about how Jesus had to grow physically from a baby to an adult and how he had to grow intellectually, learning how to talk and how to read. He had a perfect body and mind for a baby, but they had to grow and develop. Similarly, Jesus was always perfect in his obedience, but it had to be tested through trials and suffering until, you could say, it reached the pinnacle of perfection in that garden called Gethsemane and on the cross. In the garden, on the night he was betrayed and arrested, he prayed, Father, let this cup pass me by. His human nature rebelled against the terrible suffering and death he anticipated. But in the end, he accepted the fact that this was the only way that humanity would have proof of God's love. And he surrendered, saying, Not my will, but yours be done. Praying and acting on those words, Jesus became the source of our salvation.